good day to all today we are going to uh, talk on a topic the topic is a gate training and use of walking assistive devices what is a great gate training gate training or gate rehabilitation is an act of learning how to walk either as a child or more frequently after sustaining in an injury or a disability in your young person what should be the physical condition of the child before you before you started your child gait training the core muscles should be strong or enough to maintain a child body balance and uh, second if the, if your child have uh, not uh, much balance to maintain own body balance then do the some activities to improve her her or his um, muscle strength or pelvic balance uh, now we can uh, uh, do standing balance wide base standing or a transfer ball or uh, any object whatever your child likes who oh. follow stepping pattern uh, like this uh, you can see the pictures like this and uh, trunk balance pelvic balance strength exercise notice uh, the notice is a uh, notice uh, your child that uh, uh, child uh, is uh, coming in which number of a gmcs firstly you have to know the uh, which uh, uh, your child coming in a uh, which gmcs gmcs after the plan the gate uh, gate training according to her stability ability check vision is a proper or not uh, in text in what is a uh, your child intellectual ability foot deformity if your child have a foot deformity then correct them then start gait training or uh, maintain the child pelvic balance this is a um, uh, gmfcs this is the first gmfcs um, the child can easily run and uh, easily uh, step up the uh, uh, climb up stairs and the second you know the um, the child only the normal walk can walk only and uh, um, when during the child learning the stairs uh, he um, he wants uh, some supports and like this all the gmcs is going uh, now we will start how to plan gait training gait training is the aim what is the aim when you start your child gait training uh, firstly uh, to achieve safe easy and effortless gait training first was what what is the first uh, assess and uh, improve the range of motion your child's uh, uh, joints mostly leg joints uh, treat the contracture firstly the treat, treat the contracture then start gait training and improve the cardio respiratory status you can use shadow walking and also the assisted devices what is the advantage of gait, gait training the advantage of gait training is uh, training can give your child a new sense uh, ability and achievement and allow them to live or a more independent lifestyle increase the independence uh, enable more participants at a school increase confidence reduce fatigueness sense of achievement reduce care needs uh, increase ability to exercise more efficient walking pattern decrease reliance on walking aids holistic services meeting all your child's needs planning for a gait training safety measures are uh, more required firstly we we can use the gait belt dry surface slipper or shoes you can use uh, therapist uh, to be the affected side in a care walking and behind the subject with a walker training and the last is uh, attending around always towards the good leg pain uh, point to start with uh, it depends on the level of static and dynamic balance according to the therapist evaluation gait training is started start from a easier to the hardest way of a walking as the following graduation uh, first is a under water gait training you can use a, uh, the pool for a gait training uh, they help your child to improve uh, child uh, gait training walking in the um, parallel bar you can use a parallel bar for a gait training uh, walker 
और रोलेटर एंड केन क्रचेस इंडिपेंडेंट मेंटल स्टेटस व्हाट शुड बी द व्हाट शुड बी द मेंटल स्टेटस ऑफ योर चाइल्ड लेवल ऑफ अवेयरनेस और ओरिएंटेशन ऑफ द चाइल्ड ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट टू द अंडरस्टैंड द इंस्ट्रक्शंस प्रिपेयरिंग ऑफ अ ट्रीटमेंट एरिया यूजेस ऑफ द मिरर इन द ट्रीटमेंट एरिया ड्रॉ अ लाइन ऑन द फ्लोर एज अ गाइडेंस इन अ केस ऑफ डायनेमिक बैलेंस और अ कोऑर्डिनेशन एग्जांपल डिसाइडेड डिसाइड टू द डिस्टेंस ऑफ द वॉकिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू द पेशेंट टॉलरेंस द सरफेस ऑफ द ट्रेनिंग एरिया नोट what should we do when all child is not same in a physical condition firstly we should notice child physical condition and then after start gait training according to her condition if your child in a comes in a gymnastics level 1 if your child comes in a gymnastics level 1 what should we do uh, walk in a uneven surface uh, follow a zigzag pattern hold some heavy objects like a football during stair climbing and down also use the road blocks in a random way and walk between them like this you can use this blocks for a uh, your child gait training if your child comes in a um, gymnastics level 1 this type of activities you can use for a gait training it's a good for your child actually this type of gait training you can see in a picture and second is a uh, uh, now coming up uh, if your child comes in a uh, gymnastics level 2 firstly focus on her leg muscle side walk stair climbing with a railing support if he if your child is not able to do independently forward walking backward walking kicking ball in a standing position one by one leg and uh, child is a uh, good to do then may add the weight cuff in uh, in her child child leg according to the capacity one leg stand uh, standing with some support if your child can do without support then you can go with that frequently standing stool sitting and standing with a football uh, catch ball in a standing position like this these all activities uh, do if your child comes in a gymnastics level 2 how will you learn to your child walking up and down stair go up stair with a good leg first and the down stair with the affected leg first patient using the cane go up stair with a good leg first allow first followed by the by cane then the affected leg and a vice versa going down stair patient with the crutches go up stair with the legs first followed by the crutches on the crutches first follow by the good leg and then the affected leg and the vice versa going down stair this type of activity you can do you can use a step and stick on the stair um, they help to your uh, child to improve her climbing up and climbing down also if your child uh, comes uh, in a gymnastics level 3 stick wall one or two stick wall one or two elbow crutches you can use also treadmill walking and standing with a wall support uh, stand with the attendant support this type of activity you um, you want to, this type of uh, tripod stick and elbow crutches to improve your child uh, in uh, gait training if uh, if your child comes in a gymnastics level 4 firstly try to keep baby weight down okay at least uh, the child is able to move own body on one place to another place on bed also when the parents try to shift other walking devices like a wheelchair and all the devices then the parents position should be the also proper walking aids and assistive devices walking aids can mostly uh, modify the gait pattern and uh, considerably while some people using the walking aids to reduce the pain in the painful joints some others are totally unable to walk without some form of aid it is very important to put in our 
consideration under water gate training and gate training in the palabar. A child with sheepy needs to move around to explore his surrounding and to interact with his peers. A variety of mobility aids and wheelchair provide different degrees of the mobility of these children. It helps your child to move one place to another place and give strength to them. Types of mobility aids. What is the types of mobility aids? Now transfer aids like a gate aids and wheelchair, sitting systems. Examples. First standards for a walker. Crutches, canes, advantage. What is the advantage of uh, mobility aids? Firstly, develop balance. Uh, the mobility aids give your child uh, balance and uh, decrease energy expenditure. They decrease their uh, energy expenditure, decrease tongs on the joints, improve posture. Uh, also, the it's, uh, mobility aids uh, give a uh, improve the child posture. Uh, purpose of the walking aid. What is the purpose of? What should be the purpose of walking aids? Increase area of uh, support or uh, base of support. Maintain the uh, center of the gravity over supported area. Uh, re re uh, redistribute weight bearing area by the decreasing force on an injured or an inflammated part or a limb. Can be the uh, compensate. For weak muscle, decrease pain, improve balance, improve pros, uh, proprioceptions, walking frame. Used to improve balance and uh, relieve the weight bearing, greatest stability. Provide the provide wide base, support, uh, improve the anterior and lateral uh, stability. Allow upper limb to transfer body weight to the floor. Typically made of aluminium with a molded. Uh, or a vini hand grip and rubber tips adjustable uh, adult size 32 that 7 inches okay i hope you enjoy this lecture and please stay tuned with us thank you